James Kaufman, World News Report today. Today is August 29th, 2022, 12.30 p.m. Central here in the USA. God bless you and yours no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, it's been a busy day thus far. It's just noon here in the U.S. and we've seen four large M flares burst off from our star, our sun. None of them were very long duration, but we did have one of them that registered an 8.68, so close to an X flare, unbelievable. We also saw a 3.4 M flare, a, let's see, M2.57, what looks like a longer duration M flare that's had some trouble on the goes here. We're going to have to look into that here in an hour or two. But so far, four very strong flares, all generated by multiple sunspots. Let's take a look. Heading over to GOES Solar Ultraviolet Imager, 195 angstroms. It blinks out twice on the skies in the last hour, although it does not cover any of the time period the very large flares erupted. We do see quite a bit of action in this area here, as you can see. It looks like a tsunami. That might have been the filament that uh, burst open. But uh, the only action we see is still from 3088, and that should be around the limb by now, although we can still see very significant flares coming from it. Now, 3089 also generated some of these flares and it's growing and becoming much more complex. See if we can catch that on SDO. First, let's take a look at the X-ray absorption chart. All right, over to the D region absorption prediction center. Lots of radiation for everybody as the world turns. We've got a C plus baseline, so everyone's getting radiated. And look at that over Africa. Wow. Right around 11 UTC time. That is one of your M flares. Very strong. Look at the radio automation. We'll continue. There was no radio usage over Africa for some period of time. The radiation does not stop because after all, we're running that C plus baseline. Let's get ready for another. Well, there is another one of the M flares. Not as strong as the first one. The first one is the 8.73. I guess that was the M4 class. And this brings us into what's happening right now as we speak. We're in the middle of an M flare, as I noted. We have to find out what happens with this M flare. This is lacking for just a few minutes. But, ladies and gentlemen, I believe that this will actually become uh, much stronger looking on the, on the absorption chart. Lots of radiation in the air today. Over to STO, we're looking at 193 angstroms and 171 angstroms. You can see that old sunspot 3088 is still popping off M flares. And we can see that there's a lot of activity around 3089 as well. Right before they right before they cut the feed, we'll see a large explosion right there. Look like several. We are also seeing activity from this sunspot inside the coral hole. Again, something I'm not used to seeing. And there's the large explosion right as they cut the feed. I'd also like to offer that there's a sunspot coming around the northern limb up here that is also popping off. It could be responsible for some of what we see. We've got a lot of situations going on. As you can see, that flare right there could have an earth component to it and was a very strong flare, northern hemisphere. Nothing like what happened around 3089, which should be everyone's worry for the next several days. 
3088 should be out of the picture, but uh, it continues to pop off. We'll hope that it uh, disintegrates and does not hold together as the sun does another spin. You can really get a feel for 3089 and its activity by watching it at 171 angstroms. Look how many solar flares are actually happening here. It's just one after another. Bam, 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 bam. Like a machine gun. Unbelievable. Very unstable. Very unstable sunspot indeed. All right, headed over to NOAA's KP index breakdown, August 29, 30th, and 31st. They don't see anything being generated by any of the M flares that have been Earth facing for the last three or four days. They're actually giving us 1 5 today. That time period is already gone. We did see a geomagnetic disturbance, KP4, during that time for three hours. That was it. I will show you that. And they see no other detrimental effects, even though we had so many M flares that were Earth facing over the last several days. I'm expecting an impact or three. Boy, I sure wish I was as optimistic as the folks over at NOAA about those M flares that were Earth facing. I know one of them for sure was a direct hit, and they're showing no CME striking the planet. We will take a look and keep our eyes on Discover over the next few days. See if we're hit with plasma. I expect plasma to be hitting today, tomorrow, and the next day. But we will keep you updated. And they didn't even get it close to the right spot. It was uh, between 9 and midnight last night. They had a KP4, which is a solar disturbance. Uh, they marked the KP5s and 4s further into the day. We're going to jump on Discover and see what might have caused this. Real quick, back to Noah, so we can see how wrong they were again. Now, ladies and gentlemen, they did get the KP4 right, but they sure got all this wrong. I wonder why. Those time periods are gone. So we should have seen something. We will go over to Discover to see if something is ongoing. We do have three more prints. This turned out to be a nothing burger. They were wrong. But we do have three more three-hour periods before the end of the day. So let's go check out Discover to see if it's blowing up right now. All right. Uh, we did get impacted, it looks like. Uh, we have plasma that impact this earlier in the day. And this is when we had our KP4 index show up from 3 to 6. So with 20 centimeters cubed of plasma and close to 400 kilometers per second solar wind, we just got a geomagnetic disturbance, although there are crossovers indicating solar storm activity up top ongoingly. So this is going to be the first of the M flares impacting, and then we're going to see the winds push back up because of the coral hole that was Earth-facing, uh, they were pushed down probably because of the incoming plasma. But now the solar winds themselves are causing all these crossovers at 525 kilometers per second. Again, not making much sense. Although we did have the coronal hole with the sunspot facing Earth for about two days. So these were expected. God bless you and yours, folks. Please share and subscribe. Always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.